Well, we all have that little voice inside our heads, for better or worse, and in Justine Bateman's acclaimed new movie, Violet, it's brought to eye-popping and spine-tingling life, ultimately asking the question, what would you do if you weren't held back by self-doubt and fear? Watch this. You know, the committee in my head, you know, just never really noticed it much before. What committee? You know, the voice that tells you that you're a piece of you know, whatever. I mean, everybody has it, you know what I'm talking about. I guess. You sound crazy. I don't know. My parents always told me that I was great, and so whenever I have like a bad thought or something, it just seems like a lie. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah, they told me I was great, and I believe them. See, you're a freak. Ah, oh, and Justine is with us now. Hi, good to see you. Hi. Listen, this is being called one of the must-sees of the year. It's your directorial debut. You wrote it 10 years ago. So tell me, how does it feel to be out now? It's great. You know, 10 years ago, I wrote, I mean, I've written a lot of scripts since then. But, and at the time, I wrote a bunch of scripts and just kind of put them away and went did other things, went to school and everything. But um, this, you know, the, the, the longest time I had to wait on this film was that it was supposed to be released uh, at uh, South by Southwest 2020, which was March of 2020. Uh. And then we all know what happened, so yeah. I didn't hold it. So holding it for a year was the longest thing, so I'm really glad it's out now. And wh why did you want to tell this story, ultimately? Well, years ago, I made a lot of fear-based decisions, and yeah. it wasn't being myself. And I didn't know you could get from being like that to having an instinct-based life. And after I figured that out and got to the other side of it, I felt like a lot of time had been stolen from me when I was uh, not being myself. And right. so I wanted to share the map that I discovered with other people. There's other ways to get there too, I'm sure, but I wanted to, it's almost a revenge film for me against the fear, you know, yeah. share the map with others so they can not have to live that way any longer. Yeah, and I think, you know, you're saying that it's based on life experiences basically, mm -hmm. right? Because, I yeah. mean, we can all relate to mm -hmm. that inner voice in our head and that is, it, it is very hard to get over listening to that inner voice. So it's almost like, kind of like a, a roadway, a pathway to how you can stop listening to it. Yeah, and yeah. And what happens when you do. Yeah, it's really about the human condition of, you know, the, the conflict between, you know, uh, do, we do we adhere to answering these uh, worst case scenarios? Yeah. Or do we just go forward and find out if they really happen? You yeah. know, because I've found that uh, most of the time they're just complete lies. All I know. The, all those all fears. All those awful voices in your if head. If you do this, that'll happen. It's yeah. Like, well, go find out. Let's try it a different way. <laughs> but let's talk about the visuals in this because um, it's very effective the way that you tell this story. And, you know, sometimes the voice is kind of splashed in words on the screen. Sometimes the, the screen kind of goes to red and it really kind of evokes that feeling that you have when you're trapped in that yeah. moment. So how did you come up with that, um, that effect? And what do you hope people experience when they're watching this? Well, I really wanted this to be an immersive experience. So I have a lot of visual and audio elements uh, that create that, you know, the writing on the screen, which is her desperate desire to get out of this situation. Yes. You've got uh, Justin Thoreau being the voice, you know, something that's so different from her, so that people can start to think about their negative it thoughts being a different person. objectively. Yeah, you know, just yeah. as an experiment. If somebody else was saying this to me, how would I feel about it? Anyway, all of it's designed to the, really bring the audience in. The most important character in the film is the viewer. Yeah, bring them in, like get into a car, get into this car of Violet, the film, and take a ride yourself and hopefully at the end of the film they will realize that all these negative thoughts are yeah. lies and have a freer life that's my hope a I hope everyone can become completely themselves yeah so speaking of yeah. Justin Thoreau he's real it's really kind of a menacing <laughs> voice that he's yeah. that he's doing in this uh, what made him the perfect guy for this part well, he's, a, you know, it's kind of criminal not to have him on camera because he's such a I great know, actor, it right? Is. It and is. he's such a great uh, writer, too. And, um, yeah, it's very difficult to put everything you need to do uh, acting-wise just in the voice, yeah. not in your body language or your outfits or anything like this. Yeah. Um, so, and he has that great, that insidious nature. It really gets under your skin, that right. tone he can take, which is what fear does. It gets, yeah. it, you know, like, are you going to wear that today? Yeah, yeah. And you go, yeah, and you go, 
oh, it's fine, it's fine. And you're like, wait, what do you mean? You know, yeah. it just like kind of gets well, under your skin. You I can't feel get like it speaking out. Speaking of skin, you also wrote a, a book uh, last yeah. year. It's called Face, uh, One Square Foot of Skin. I feel like this is almost a companion piece yeah. because it's like, you know, kind of not basing your life on these on these fear factors. Yeah. Does it kind of go hand in hand, you think? Definitely. I mean, face is specifically about women's faces getting older and why that makes people angry, right? Yeah. And, you know, that you say, oh, well, I'm afraid if people think my face looks old, then therefore, and there's a fill in the blank for everybody, right? right? Right, right. I'm afraid I'll never get another job or I won't find a mate or whatever it is. Yeah. And what I say in the book is deal with that fear. Right. Forget that this is just Forget a bunch of skin, right? Yeah. So in a sense, Violet, for anyone who liked the book Face, Please go see Violet because it's it's about this process more generally. Yeah, it's an expanded And you can apply version. it to other parts of your life. Yeah, yeah, I love it. I love it. Violet is out in New York today in select theaters and on November in select theaters on November fifth and on demand on November. It's at the Angelica in New York right now. And at the Angelica in New York right now. Go check it out, Justine. Thank you so much for coming by. Thank you.